You criticize to the nth degree Goldeneye, but you reserve that criticism for Doom 64. Yet we have plenty of witnesses who have corroborated earlier that Goldeneye revolutionized the first person shooter genre because you could blow up objects like boxes, computers, glass. Do you remember ever in your career as a video game reviewer being able to blow up these kinds of things in a video game? No! And who gives a fuck? I'm going to read to you quotes from your video game review of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Did you say that the game had well-designed areas? Yes! Side-scrolling action and unique RPG elements is unique and impressive? Yes! The different areas of Dracula's castle are unique and well-designed and in many cases a sight to see? Yes! The artistry and detail is readily apparent, particularly in the backgrounds. I did! The setting is very convincing. Yes. So how can you make all those positive comments and yet still give the game an overall mediocre review? Because even though the graphics and everything else are excellent, the game itself sucks. How can you possibly say that? What evidence do you have? Have you ever played the game? In your review of Final Fantasy VII, you said the music and sound, well, they blow chunks. That is a direct quote. The music and sound blowing chunks. Do you think that Eris's beautiful theme blows chunks? No. Really? Do you think that Sid's inspirational theme blows chunks? No. What about the awesome temple of the ancients theme? Does that blow chunks? No. The epic final battle music, etc., etc. Let's just stick with that one. Does that epic battle mu theme music blow chunks? No. So how many more of these do we have to go through before you finally admit that the music and the sound does not blow chunks? What is your defense to that, George Wood? Well, the number of times you, you may mention all those wonderful little themes, but in the, in the final analysis of the whole game, the plot sucks! So therefore the we're game... not talking about the plot, we're talking about the music and sound. You the... specifically said the music and sound blow chunks. Is that a positive thing, blowing chunks? If, if the game itself blows chunks, then all things associated with the game blows chunks. So therefore, sir, your game blows chunks. There's another review being entered into evidence, that of 1080 Snowboarding, where you said... Realism is getting boring in video games, yet one minute later you demand more realism in video games. How do you con square this contradiction, Mr. Wood? Because most people's real lives are, well, we must admit, well, do you rather want, boring. Do you want video games to reflect people's real lives or not? If video games reflected people's real lives, no one would want to play them. So do you want video games to be boring or not? I don't know. How's your life lately? A little more exciting this or a little more boring? This is not about boring? my life. This is about video games. Ah, but the video games, if you make a video game like real life, how bored are the people going to be? And how much longer... Do you longer, make more money much... if you say a video game is boring, a popular video game is boring? I... Uh, mm, no. <laughs> However... However, if people want it boring, all they have to do is go home. They don't even have to turn on their video games. If they want boring, sir, all they need to do is go home and look at their spouse, or look at their house, or look at their lousy little routines during the day. If they want excitement, they should be putting on the game. So if the game is boring, I give you, sir, your life and your escape is boring also. Have you ever played a video game in your life? Only under duress. <laughs> More 1080 snowboarding. You said there is no girl, no female snowboarder, no girl character in the game. Yet, in the very footage you edited into your own review, it clearly shows a female character. If you're going to draw a female character, please draw her like a female character. The character in that story looks like she's already had breast cancer. Did you actually play A Bug's Life when you reviewed it? Yes. How many levels did you get through? Four. What was in the fourth level? A bug. <laughs> Sorry. Keep rolling, keep rolling.
In your review, there is only footage of the first level. Did you know that you can actually pick up the seed that you were crawling around? I'm sorry, the seed? The seed. Oh, seed. Oh, seed. Uh, pick up the seed. Um, you walked into it, you jumped on it, you stood on it, you did everything but pick the damn thing up. Did you know that you could pick up the seed and no, get I was, out of the first level? No, I was afraid it was a bad seed. Why did you think that in Super Smash Brothers you had to go so far as to reset the game to change characters? That's like saying that to change a light bulb in your house, you have to switch the circuit breaker off first. Why did you think that you have to reset the game? Actually, I find that when changing a light bulb, turning off the circuit breaker is far too complicated than it needs to be. Why can't you simply unscrew the light bulb? Your game is just like that. There are no clear instructions as far as how to change the character, therefore making, therefore making it much more complicated than it has to be. So one only assumes that you need to reset the game in order to switch the character. Are you saying that you were looking for an instruction for how to change the characters in the instruction manual, manual or did you not see it on the screen? What was... Well, obviously, I didn't find it in the manual or on the screen, or I wouldn't have reset the game now, would I? Did you do the original review of Final Fantasy VII? I did. Your voice is not on that review. <clears throat> well, I wrote that back then, and I thought at the time that my voice did not lend itself to the proper communication of the review to the viewer. So therefore I had some well, why did you feel that your voice was appropriate for the rebuttal <coughs> to the angry comments from people on the Final Fantasy VII review? Well obviously the people who read the Final Fantasy VII review had no idea what they were talking about. So I felt it was my duty to get on there in person myself to defend my position. You see I wrote that back then but Back then, I was such a visionary in the in the video games that I knew. Well, if you wrote it, then you can remember what was your stance on the graphics in Final Fantasy VII. They sucked. And gameplay? Did they that suck as well? It did in that time. Obviously, I was back then when I wrote this. I was the visionary who saw the potential of video games. All the rest of the, uh, how shall I say, prepubescent generation of video games saw nothing, knew nothing, and could do nothing to advance the art form. And by art form, are you referring uh, holistically or to individual elements? Let's stick with what we're talking about here. We're talking about graphics. Yes. Gameplay. Yes. Story. Yes. Music. Yes. And you think all of that sucked? It did at that time. We've gotten much better since then. Wait. But had I had I not expressed that opinion, how much further along would, would games have actually gotten but to? In, they wouldn't have come along at all. In your earlier testimony, you admitted that the music did not suck. It does not matter if the core of an item, it's like getting a perfectly wrapped Christmas present and having nothing but crap in the middle. No matter how well it's packaged and how much it's wrapped, the middle is still crap. Did you have anything to do with the video called Hot Coffee in Final Fantasy VIII? I may have modeled for it. <laughs>